With an FC TV with Chris Agata following today's win in the FA Trophy over Chichester. Aggie, your thoughts on that? Uh, as expected. Um, really awkward customers. Very well coached. Um, yeah, tough, tough day at the office where we've had to, every bit of success in the game we've had to earn. Um, and uh, yeah, it was a, I'm glad to get over the line, of course, um, but it was, a, it was a very difficult encounter, um, to say the least. Yeah, as you, you probably mentioned it on, uh, on Thursday, didn't you? What you were expecting from them, and it's played out pretty, pretty much as you said. They, they came and made a right go of it to Chichester and, and made you really work for it. Yeah, I mean, they're, like I said, very well coached, very well organised. They play four box two. Uh, I agree with that fella saying we're lucky. Yeah. Keep getting lucky, don't we? Yeah, yeah. keep getting lucky. Um, but yeah, no, so they play four box two, it's awkward. And what they do do really well is they get their distances um, on points, so they're not necessarily man marking, so you can't really drag them all over the place, but they're sort of half and half, ready to jump on the next pass. Um, so yeah, very, very awkward customers. I'm not sure how much we helped ourselves in the first half. Um, so I thought when when they had decent control possession, I thought we limited them to very little. Um, but uh, when we had the ball and turned over cheap, um, that's where I felt they they carried a real threat. So. Um, I don't think we helped ourselves, but equally, you've got to give credit to Chichester because they're, uh, they're a good side. Yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head. It felt like their, their best opportunities, particularly in the first half, came from loose, loose in possession, mm. a little bit sloppy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it just cheap turnovers. Um, yeah, like forced one or two passes, um, not enough switches of play. And then when we, when we did switch play, we probably didn't. Uh, probably didn't have the right detail on the pass so it was a bit slow and uh, it was interesting as well the pitch was incredibly slow um, and uh, it, I don't think we played it very well um, so um, no I mean like I said you got to give credit to Sister as well that, you know they're, they're, they're a good side and like I said they caused us problems yeah there were some moments of real brilliance again yeah. Cash's goal to win it I thought Temi Babalola came on and, and made a real difference driving yeah. him with his, with his power in that second half. Yeah, I, no, I, I thought when we talk about turning the ball over cheap and lacking detail, I felt that was more along the back line and in deep areas. But I actually thought uh, as an attacking unit, um, we were pretty happy with what, what we saw. Um, created some good chances, um, obviously scored another three goals. And uh, yeah, some of our some of our sort of combination playing around the box was excellent um, so um, so yeah I, and I, I thought when Temi come on I thought he was excellent um, and we, we just spoke about that in the changing room he injected even more pace and power into our forward line I thought he was very good back to goal linking play uh, four or five shots on goal so yeah we were very happy with uh, with the way we went about it from an attacking perspective and the winning goal um, brilliant goal I mean credit to Nicky Wheeler he was in a position to shoot but showed us his uh, experience and his quality calm and composed played the extra pass inside the box and we talk about it so much um, rather than forcing it and shooting through bodies play the extra pass work a sort of almost a tap in um, scoring position rather than trying to force it and Nicky done exactly that and put it on a plate for cash um, to get the winner so um, if from an attacking perspective, we're happy today in terms of the final third, um, and we need to tidy up um, in deeper areas because if we do, we can get the ball to our forward players with more quality, more consistently, and that'll only help us score more goals. Looking ahead, then Tuesday night, uh, another cup competition, Sussex Senior Cup at home in Eastbourne United. Will that see a bit more rotation, or, or can we expect a strong side? Uh, no, a bit strong side because um, we've got first team players that need to play. Um, got first team players like Temi that come on that are knocking on the door and you got to play football um, got a couple of academy lads that have been very good that deserve the opportunity uh, but equally we, you know, we want to win the game and we'll pick a team to win the game um, got to keep building momentum um, so yeah I mean as, as much as today was 
um, not perfect, we've won another game. Um, no, you know, there's the old Chichester fans saying we're lucky there. Like, like I said, we, we've won a few games 3 2 now, 4 3, and um, albeit it's not great for, for my hairline and grey hairs. Um, there is resilience in the group, and there is a mentality where, um, where you know, very rarely are they are they done or they give up or they get too disappointed. They keep pushing um, for the club and they keep pushing for each other. And you know that you know us being able to continually deliver. You know, because when they win two two, um, a lot of teams go the other way. I mean, we've done it to a few teams this year already. But we we dug in and we acted the right way, went again and and got over the line. So um, yeah, going back to Tuesday, we want to keep building momentum, we want to keep winning games, and we'll pick a team, pick a team to do that.